what is up bros we are back with some strategic mind however we are playing the recently released specter of communism so we had played the first mission in a demo however the demo did not have the glorious voice acting that we all enjoy so much so uh we're gonna go back through and listen to that we are not gonna play the actual mission but we need to we need to see what was going on in the scenes before and directly after that first mission? Comrade Rokosovsky, I have always considered you a very talented officer. Thank just... you for your trust, Comrade Voroshilov. Until recently, I was planning to promote you to Comcore rank. Uh, why did you change your mind, Comrade Voroshilov? Because I have Monstein's voice. Our ever-vigilant state security has uncovered some horrific facts. Uh-oh. About you, comrade. Uh-oh. You have been spying for both Japan and Poland. I have signed confessions from traitors to the state that prove it. Confess your crimes. What is this nonsense? I served the Soviet Union faithfully and honorably. You can lie to your cellmates, Rakasowski. You are under arrest. The punishment for high treason is death. He went from promotion to a death sentence. this is your last chance. Tell us who else was in on this conspiracy of yours. I am innocent. I am not going to falsely accuse my comrades. You have only to sign this confession to avoid the worst consequences. Don't do well, it. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Let it be on your head. No! Ready? Aim! Fire! F in the chat. Comrade Zhukov, I have always considered you a very talented officer. Oh, no. Thank you, Comrade Varshilov. You're not getting the same treatment, These are you? These are troublesome times. Mm-hmm. The motherland needs more such exemplary officers. Unfortunately, Comrade Varashilov, as we have seen, not all exemplary officers are truly loyal to the motherland. Comrade Zhukov, the Japanese Imperial Army has suddenly invaded our ally, the Mongolian People's Republic. They started out with some border clashes, but now they are trying to grab territory. It is our sacred duty to protect our socialist Mongol brothers. We must teach these Japanese militarists a harsh lesson. Comrade Zhukov, I order you to travel to Mongolia at once. Inspect our troops there. Take over operational command if necessary. It is an honor, Comrade Varshilov. Good luck, Comrade. I will be waiting for some good news for a change. I also will be waiting for reports of your diligent and loyal service to the motherland, Comrade Zhukov. This guy again. Ready? Aim! Fire! You will sign the confession, Rakasowski. Or next time, we shoot you for real. Save your breath, comrade. I won't betray my fellow officers. We shall see, comrade. Take him back to his cell. Hmm. Okay, so we had played this one, like I said, in the demo. It wasn't very long. Um, Just, you know, a little bit of uh, Japanese border skirmishes in Mongolia. All right, last save before... The glorious Soviet victory. Nice. Our troops are in full control of Jinjin Sume. We captured some very interesting trophies, specifically Japanese armored flamethrower vehicles. They could come in handy when we have to storm enemy fortifications. Excellent. Now the Japanese won't dare step into Mongolian territory from that direction and we have what Japanese about the other directions throwers. now is the time 
to smoke the Japanese out of Mongolia once and for all. <laughs> what about the other directions? You're like in that direction. What about like the other, the other directions? You just leave it. All right, so we got a uh, order for military merit plus one hard defense to HQ units granted by the Mongolian People's Republic. We also got Hero of the Soviet Union plus one command point. After the initial failures in air combat against the Japanese, the Soviet Air Force sent its best pilots and new I-16 fighter planes to reinforce its troops in Mongolia. Soon after, the Soviet pilots established air superiority. Some of the best enemy pilots were shut down. Glorious Soviet musics. Get the point. Glorious Red Air Force wins. That beat hit hard. All right, so uh, okay, this is the map. Okay, that's reversed. In the other game, the map was up here, and the units was down here. Uh, we have no nobody except for Zhukov is here to tell us what's up. Um, we've got Invasion of Poland next. But I want to buy a couple of these HQ skills real quick. Um, definitely need this one, Frontline Artillery. That allows us to fire again. So we have a good one up at the top. I know you can see because my face cam's in the way. But Modernization Program. All self-propelled units gain an additional equipment slot. That's a good one. And I think these two are good. The tank onslaught and the uh, tankman's courses. Several tanks perform a joint attack versus a single target. We had that one when uh, we played with the Germans in Blitzkrieg. And also this tankman's course. All tank units require 20% less experience for each level up. That is also nice. Units. Uh, we already got some upgrades. Uh, yeah, the T-28 looks crap. I'm saying we stick with the BT-7 here. Alright, so, with the money we had, we got a couple more BT-7s. Upgraded our artillery, bought another one. Bought some more infantry and gave them all the best equipment. Soviet money could buy. We are ready. For the invasion of Poland. Comrade Stalin, we have signed a treaty of non-aggression with Ribbentrop. Germany has agreed to all of our demands, including our control over the Polish territory, the Baltic states, and Finland. Hitler clearly sees that without Soviet support, he is doomed from the beginning. He needs our oil. He will do anything to get it. Let him have it. Then Herr Hitler can make as much trouble as he wants with the English. This agreement won't just protect us from the Nazis. It will move our border westward with minimal effort. Comrade Stalin, we have fulfilled your directive. Our military production is greatly increased. We need to be ready for war at any moment, Comrade Vodashov. <laughs> I hold you personally responsible. That Rest mustache. Assured, our mighty proletarian army will always be ready to defeat any foe, Comrade Stalin. And we cannot trust those lying imperialists. How have the Western powers reacted to Germany's actions so far, Comrade Molotov? Britain and France have said that if Hitler dares to invade Poland, it means war with them. Hmm, splendid. I think our liberation of Poland can take its time. Let Hitler take the blame for invading. Comrade Voroshilov, I order you to employ our finest military commanders and forces in our Polish operation. Show the world the Red Army's might. 
I already have a suitable commander in mind, Comrade Stalin. He will not let us down. So much communist glory in that mustache. That mustache by itself is more manly than 99% of the men alive today. The mustache needs its own Twitter account. The Polish state, built on the exploitation of its Belarusian and Ukrainian minorities, has turned out to be stillborn. Ever since its first military failures, it has been collapsing. The Red Army must enter eastern Poland as soon as possible to provide protection and security to the local population. Oh, security. Comrade Vodoshilov, debrief us. Protection. In accordance with the Soviet-German non-aggression pact, our forces will capture the part of Poland located within our area of interest. This includes the following cities and towns, Ternopol, Rovno, Lutsk, Kinsk, Baranovici, Grodno, and Belostok. You are forgetting Brest-Litovsk and Lvov. These cities are also within our area of influence. However, my agents report that the Wehrmacht has received orders to capture both towns first. I see. After the fall of Poland, we will be negotiating further cooperation with the Germans. They need our resources to wage their wars. Hitler probably believes that Brest-Litovsk and Lvov will be good bargaining chips. Hitler wants to cheat his way out of our agreements. That's what it is. We won't let him. Comrade Vodoshilov, the German capture of Brest and Lvov must not take place. Do you understand me? Yes, Comrade Stalin. But we can Damn. also give the Nazis a taste of their own medicine. What if we capture a few of their towns like they intended to do with us? Interesting idea. Very well. I authorize it. Take your troops west of the demarcation line and capture Lublin. Of course, this must all look like an accident. The last thing yeah, we need oops. is an open conflict with Germany. Understood. Comrade Zhukov, Kombreg Vasilevsky will be assisting you during this operation. I hope... The two of you will get along. As you command, Comrade People's Commissar. We have a major invasion operation ahead of us. I'm sure there will be loads of work at headquarters for both of us. I would be glad to exchange knowledge and experience with Comrade Zhukov. Another important matter, comrades. The Red Army must enter Poland as a liberator. Exactly. Our enemies are the aristocrats and the capitalists. We must not be caught exterminating the Polish populace. If the Polish military resists, we should capture them rather than kill them. Also, do not bomb the Polish infrastructure. After all, it will soon become the property of the Soviet state. Okay, so... We just accidentally cross this line that's clearly marked on our map and take a Lublin from the Germans. Sounds like a great idea. There it is. So, okay, seize all seven victory hexes. Capture Lavaux and Brest before German troops arrive. Germans arrive in nine rounds. Okay, so we're going to have to haul balls. Preserve the Polish buildings. So we can destroy somewhere in the area 50. Take the Polish troops captive. At least 15 of them. And capture Lublin before the German troops. Germans arrive in nine. All right. We can do it. Let me place down our units. How much were we given to start? Uh, yeah, we were given quite a few. All right, I deployed everything. I tried to keep stuff as even as possible. You know, each group, two tanks, at least two uh, infantry, artillery, aircraft. I think I have done that. We are ready to go steal a bunch of shit from the Germans. Let's begin. September 17th, 1939. Let's go. Look at the beautiful Polish countryside. And we are prepared to advance straight into it. With our glorious armored guard technologies. That has a... Hold on a sec. I did not notice this. Our armored car has a tank turret on the top. Amazing! And that right there, my friends, 
That's why Soviet Union could not possibly lose. Not with that type of technology. Alright, well, I hopefully these guys are out of the range of that, I think. We could bomb it, but they got an anti-aircraft gun in our way. We can pound it down with some tank action. I guess we could take a little bit of damage from it, you know? Let's go ahead and, uh... Actually, let's get the, um... Yeah, let's use the fighter to take the anti-air damage first. Nice. Alright, now you guys can come in. Done. Just that easy. Alright, so... Um, I'm hoping this army can take all this. I won't have to take anything else up there with them. We need to find these cities we have to take before the Germans. Lavo, okay, there's that. There is Lublin. And Brest is right there. Okay, so this group can handle all this through here. And this more southern group can go in through Lavo and take a Lublin. But we gotta move pretty quickly. We don't have much time to screw around. Zhukov, you are violating Comrade Stalin's orders. Do not bomb the Polish infrastructure. Oh. Oops. What do you want me to do? They're in the city. How else would you have me handle this? How am I going to get them out? You tell me. We'll just bypass this fortress. Since it's kind of south. I mean, we don't really even need to mess with it, I don't think. I mean, they want me to take the city, but I can't, I, I can't be mean about it, basically. Um, you think they got anti-air up here? So you're telling me I can't bomb that city, is that what you're telling me? Because I would really like to bomb that city. This just, it looks very bombable to me. Something about it looks like it'd be something that I would love to bomb. Okay, the southern group. Okay, so you will just advance. Man, they got... I wonder what's right there. They do have bunkers. Oh, is this? I hope this isn't a long line of bunkers right here. I guess I'll go ahead and attack these. Especially if that's going to be a long line of bunkers, we're going to need to uh, find a way through it. What sucks is our artillery is not going to be able to attack this first round. Okay, so they do have an anti-air, so we'll use the fighter to soak up some damage. Then bomb the crap out of this, finish it off. Noise. Well done! And then we'll use this to figure out what they got in through here. Okay, it looks like it's just going to be infantry and combat car, that type of stuff. Alright, we're good. We can do this, no problem. In the wake of the fall of Poland, the Ukrainian nationalist underground rears its head. My agents have discovered their organization, the OUN. 
The Ukrainian assault teams are harassing Polish troops in the forest between Kovil and Sarny. Does that mean the nationalists are on our side? No. They want an independent Ukrainian state. So we are as much an enemy to the OUN as the Poles are. Besides, I have reasons to suspect they are connected with foreign secret services. That said, consider them counter-revolutionaries. And as such, your enemies. Find and destroy the Ukrainian nationalist camps. Oh, we'll do, but I'm starting to already question his intel. I don't know if his intel's the greatest. I don't understand, like, I'm starting to worry. What am, exactly am I supposed to do to take them captive? Does that just happen once I start? I, I don't know. I'm confused. Does that just happen, like, after I start beating them by a lot? Or when, when does that start happening? I wish I had brought some more anti-air up here. Finish this off. Noise. Oh, my artillery sucks. Is it all? It's like constantly. Oh! It has a lot longer range. I was like, is it always going to be out of range or what? No, it's not because it has more range. All right, so those, uh, the bros we gotta take is in here. Okay, I, I, I would kind of like somebody to, um, somebody to surrender so I would, I would know I was doing the right thing. Where did, oh, they, I, I hate anti-air guns. I, they, they just, they piss me off. I didn't mean to move you, I meant to move the aircraft. Undo that. Alright, we got that down. Now. Remember, we can't shell into the city. Most stupid orders. Like, how are you going to do that to me? Oh, I can't shell into the city. Well, what do you... You want me to throw rocks at them? Well, I'm going to shell into the city. We got to. We have enemy Polish armor in the city. How else would you like me to handle this enemy... Polish armor. Noise. Damn, their artillery got some range too. I could have went up. Yeah, let's just move up into here. Take a little bit of damage, but we captured part of the city. Okay, so. Making some good headway. I'm feeling pretty good about our tactical goals. I think we might have time for one more round before we wrap this up. 19th of September. First. I don't... Oh, I left this plane back here this whole time. What an idiot. I completely forgot about that one. Alright. Polish resistance has been demolished. 
I guess we can send a few troops up here, grab this real quick, and the other ones here. Send south. We need, this is what we need, this anti-air out of here. What a pain in the ass. Get demoralized. All right, we got all that. We're picking up. These birds probably need healed. All right, gotcha. I wouldn't. I wasn't gonna leave you out there. And now, of course, we can bomb this crap. Thanks. I don't even have to move that right underneath my aircraft. Why did I put both my anti-air in the middle? That wasn't very intelligent. Should have had it spread out. Oh yeah, demoralized. Why does everything demoralize and not... Just capitulate. Give up. Be my, uh... Oh, I did take one. I didn't even notice. I did take a Polish troop captive. When did that happen? All right, bros. That is three rounds in to the Polish campaign. And I believe we have demolished the first line of Polish defenses. The only thing that worries me is taking Lublin. And the, before the Germans get there. Although it does say we... Okay, this is different though. It says take it before the German troops. Whereas taking Lavaux and Brest say we've got to do it before the Germans ever arrive. Which is in 7. This says just take Lublin before the German troops do. So that might give us an extra two rounds. We might be able to do that. Anyways, bros, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will be back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.